We're all trying to make our music as punchy and as powerful as possible and make the individual sounds jump out of the speakers whilst we're mixing it. This is why transient processors have become so pertinent in the last few years. I've just recently discovered that a number of DAWs have this solution built in and we have missed it. And I want us all now as Ableton users to take another look at the MIDI envelope that is free inside of the main editions of Ableton Live. This brilliant plugin will generate a completely controllable envelope control signal that you can then patch to any plugin parameter that you can normally reach with an Ableton macro. It's very similar to the way that you might plug the output of an envelope module into a filter on a modular system. So let me show you how we can use this fantastic plugin to get some excellent and dynamic results. Okay, come over to the MIDI effects inside of Ableton's browser, and this is what you want, the Envelope MIDI. Now, I've already installed it here on a blank track that's also got a sampler that's just playing back this clap sound. I've turned the sustain of the envelope all the way down and I'm going to turn the decay and the release roughly to around the same place. This will make sense in a minute. Now, what I want to do is actually add some transient action to the output of this sampler from this volume control. You see I've got it set at zero at the moment down here. Well, I'm going to hit the map button and now just click on the control. It is now mapped. Now just past this little X icon here, there are two values. This is the minimum value of the control data that's going to come out of this envelope. This is the maximum. And just to start, you really want that I'm going to say somewhere between 50% and 100%. Then you can control how much the envelope will actually affect this particular control using this amount here. So let me just play some claps back and you'll see what I mean. Just underneath this decay parameter here, you can see I've got some curve controls. So I can actually change the shape of this envelope, very similar to the way that you can change the shape of the envelopes in some of the advanced samplers inside of Ableton. So we can actually have quite a long decay and then bring it down really quickly and then tail off slowly. Now, this is completely free. It still blows my mind that there's so much functionality inside all of this. So then what I decided to do was create a little rack with it. So I've got the amount control here, the decay and the release control. You can see them gang together here. And then the slope control. And I've also just added a basic attack control there as well. But in general, I'm gonna kind of want these things for percussion elements. Brilliant. So what does it sound like in a natural miniature production? Well, I've got this little loop and the first bit that all of the parts that are here in orange are containing multiple versions of a little rack that I put together. Let me show you what I've done here because I've created a very useful little rack. I've just got a simpler that's firing off one of the kicks here, but I've actually added two of these uh, envelope triggers. Now, please note, these envelope triggers are not following audio. They are not triggering off audio events. They are triggering off your MIDI notes. So you know these are going to be clean at any time. It's the very best way to operate like this. The reason I have two of them is I have a very simple couple of shelving EQs with an identical corner point, and this low band envelope is controlling the gain of the low part, and this one obviously the high. Now let me solo the kick and you'll see what I mean. So there you go, folks. That is Dynamic EQ, completely free, inside of Ableton, using MIDI-triggered envelopes. Now let me play you a little changeover. This orange section has all of the transient envelopes set up, and I've turned them off in the blue section. Listen to the difference in energy.
and you can go in and really fine tune all of those transient controls between the two bands. Now I found this really works on synths like Serum. So here's a rack that I've made that will be linked to this video. Please come and grab it if you're using Live 11. You can use any instrument and drop it in here, whether that be a drum machine, a simpler sampler, or any of your external VSTs. It's then completely ready for you to use. Let me know how you get on with it. And don't forget, you can automate anything with this.